Good evening traders, July 25th, 2022. Kind of a crazy day today on the market. We end up massively unchanged, but still we were all over the place within uh, within a range, right? So let's jump in very quick, uh, a little bit of uh, market profile just to show you that uh we continue in balance here uh actually we had a, a day with a, a closer range we barely broke the the initial balance the first hour of trading we broke it first to the upside and then didn't hold came back all the way down to to broke the, the initial balance to the downside we we were able to break the overnight the overnight lows but uh we couldn't do more than that the idea was trying to take this uh poor low here from friday that uh we were not able so uh we were um we were mainly on a range today it was very complicated to trade uh, we did some trades today, but I was it was tough. It was tough because he was he was on a wrench and and it was very slow. So lethal combination for for intraday trading there. On the other hand, uh, the last uh, thirty minutes was, was crazy because we we came down. Uh, we we hit our most of our lows of of day uh, in the last. 30 minutes and then we broke up to the to almost to to the opening the opening level so at the end of the day we we just close unchanged for the day so and it's normal no it's, there's a lot of uh economic and <clears throat> earning news that we have in this week so the market is is just undecisive what it's going to do uh, right now, overnight uh, session, we we gave back everything that we got on the last thirty minutes. So we're again here on the below the value area, a little bit below. So let's see what happens overnight, and then let's go to some individual uh, opportunities that I have for you today. Let me see. <clears throat> so I have some good uh nice uh opportunities for tomorrow guys uh i love this setup for nue nucor corporation uh actually i i mentioned about it uh in the previous day we have this breakout here here but uh, we gave it all on this and and bearish engulfing but it held here on on support on the 4 ema so I think that uh, this is getting ready again for for that breakout. So look for a breakout of uh, it's an inside candle as well. So a break on the inside candle one twenty three sixteen, and we have a uh, we have an outside plus inside right. So the holy grail here. So the, our next immediate target is uh, of course you have the previous uh, high here, but actually we have room all the way down, up to the previous uh, outside candle high 130.58 so that gives us a lot of range so it's seven points there so this one definitely is a must to watch tomorrow or the next days because it can give us a very nice uh very nice range so that is nue caterpillar caterpillar we have a um, Actually, well, industrials were okay today. We had a good day. We we close almost in the high of days, a little bit below. But uh, what is interesting here is that we are already holding this uh, range here for several days, almost a week, where we are already uh, breaking up, trying to do a it's not a reversal pattern here. So also an inside candle. Trigger on 
Obviously, the next immediate target is the previous high, but I, which is very, very, very close. So I even, I would, I even even um, wait for the break from the previous high. So, but uh, anyway, 18265, 18270. Uh, room two, we have a 18567, 188. And obviously, we have all the 50 MA for the rest of the week. But I think that tomorrow, these two targets are, are on range. We have an average to range of five points for the last 10 days on Caterpillar. So from 182 plus five, 187. So we, we, we should be able to, to be in this range. So that is another nice also, I mean, have in mind that it's an inside candle, so we can also have a break to the downside. If that happens, uh, we have to be just uh, aware that the next level if we break this, uh, will be probably 176.52. But it doesn't seem that uh, it wants to come back. I mean, it, it's we, we already have a 413 cross here on the daily, confirm and everything. So, so I think that uh, I will be looking more at uh, the opportunity to get them to the upside more than the downside. But anyway. It's it's good to, to to set the trigger for both sides, right? Since it's an inside candle, we don't know where where it might go. Uh, what I'm just doing here is I'm putting the trigger in the in the previous high, not not in the inside. Why? Because if the next one is you have very short range from here, so from here to here is nothing. So I'd rather wait for the break from the previous low, and then give it a try for for a wider. Uh, Water target. Uh, MCK, which is uh, McKinson Corporation. I never, I haven't played this one, but uh, and, and I don't really know how how good the the options are. We do have weekly, so yeah. I mean, it's it's not the the spreads are not great. Actually, n not even close. Great, but uh, but what I like about it is that it's doing a. This is all time highs. We have a very few right now with an all time highs levels. This one, if you can see this, I, I even saw the weekly ten years out, and we're on the highest range. So we already had this uh explosion here to three forty one sixty five, and we came back. We are a bit extended, so here are two ways of playing it. Uh, one, wait for a break on this previous high, 336.71, or the other one will be waiting to for this to retrace back to the 4EMA around 331.76. I don't know if it will be that viable, but at least you can wait midpoint 333.31 if you for some reason we have a retracement through this level i think here is very nice to take it to the outside looking for a good target i mean we have obviously the previous high 341.65 but the 38.2 extension is at almost 315 right and this is take the extension is taken from this previous low to to the high before the breakout so mck i think it's a uh, Another nice opportunity. Uh, keep it in mind. Not the greatest of all the con uh, spreads in contracts, but uh, at the end of the day, good uh, good opportunity. H uh, W M. Almet Aerospace Incorporation. Um, very similar to Caterpillar. Uh, we have a break, a range here for uh, the past four days uh, with an inside candle. So. This looks uh, prime for a break out to the upside. Uh, the alert is set at 35. Uh, first target probably will be around 35.33. We have like $1 of uh, average to range on the past day. So probably 35. 
to 36. I, I think that we have this level for tomorrow. The rest of the week can make some continuation, but it looks great. I mean, it's uh, it's been uh, it's been on a range lately, but uh, it break out, made a retracement. So we ju we just have to wait for for this break, this consolidation to break uh, to the upside. We also have an option to the downside because since uh, an inside candle, thirty four thirty five, and your first target uh, will be thirty four oh six, right? So. And from there, thirty-three eighty. I rather, uh, I like more the idea of of getting uh, the upside break that I think it will be happening. We we had we had a good uh, increase in volume here on the daily, so very likely that uh, we we might get it. Next one, STX, Seagate Technologies. This one. Uh, I like uh, the possibility of that breakdown. This is this is a bearish opportunity. If we break this uh, inside candle to the downside around seventy five twenty six, room to seventy four, then seventy two level. This one, the contract holds are not the greatest, but uh, <clears throat> but they are much better than. Than the previous one, so probably I will be looking for 70, 70, what I like, 75 puts, probably 75, even 74, 73 is also have good open interest. I mean, not the greatest, but good enough uh, to play it uh, tomorrow. Um, this one blink I was looking for since actually it was on my watch list since today for a breakup, uh, but uh, it came down, uh, it did hit the 50 MA, which had a very nice rejection, and we're having a, a nice uh, bullish hammer here. So, again, uh, I will say the same levels that I had this morning. I'm looking here for a break of the this previous uh, breakout 1913 and we have a nice range to 2022 and 2176. You tr uh, this one moves very well. I mean it's an $18 underline with an ATR 1.2 so it has very decent 4 or 5% average uh, daily percentage and movement so I like it and blink I used to <clears throat> to be a a nice underline to play because it has good volatility, has a weekly contract. The the spreads are great. So this one looks prime as well. And last but not least, uh Juniper inside candle again. Beautiful opportunity to the upside uh, because we have this previous uh, candle all the way to 29.39. So look for 28.76 breakout. And we have almost a dollar for the next target. So 29.39. Uh, I'll think since we have the 50 MA, the daily 50 MA, that will be all. But if, if you can get all that dollar, I think that. Uh, you can make mo good money there. And that's what I have, guys. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven options for tomorrow. Hopefully you can take advantage of one or all of them. And see you tomorrow. Happy trading and good luck tomorrow. Adios.